Yo, what's going on guys and welcome, I guess, to our first video here on BH Escapes. My name is Brad, um, today we're going to be building a fish tank. But as you guys can see me just behind this way here we have the tank uh, that we're going to be using today and I also have another little one here. So here we have the aquarium, uh, just here. I believe it's an Aqua 1. I'm not really sure on like exactly what the model number is, um, just because it's like a fair few years old, like I think it was about like 2014 when it came out for the model, but I bought this second hand obviously. So I got the glass and the stand for $100, which I think is pretty good because it comes with a light as well, so that there saved me a bunch um, straight off the bat. And uh, yeah, I believe it's a 70 litre tank. Uh, just about dimension stuff um as you guys can see at the back here it's got these kind of like two down pipes and stuff i think for the original like filtering and stuff like that it was meant to you know be an all-inclusive kind of deal but i didn't really get any of that stuff so i kind of had to like get my own style in here so we ended up getting an external filter which i'll show you guys in just a second uh, but it's coming down in here as you guys can see all of the like api products down there um it's just what I've seen to be able to work like the best. Obviously, you can you know, pick what you want. Um, but here is our canister filter. Um, it's kind of quite overkill for what we need, actually. So I've kind of had it like half switched off. So it's like intaking less water and ex -take, like exporting less water as well. So it seems to like settle down the flow a ton, which is perfect, which is like kind of what I needed. Um, I'll find the exact name for it and I'll pop it up on screen here because I've forgotten already. The water exporting from the tank anyways on this side here and then coming back in this way, we have a spray bar as well just to help uh, get some surface agitation in there as well. And I'm thinking you're putting a heater down in here as well. You guys might know a little bit better than I would uh, in the comments um, if that's a good idea because I'm thinking that like it's gonna be taking out the hot water and spraying it across the tank. I think that might be the best way to do it rather than trying to situate it over here somewhere um, and waste some more space. But it did come with this awesome line here that we can you know, lift up and down, which is cool to be able to get our hardscape in there. So yeah, I guess let's just jump onto the fun stuff now and uh, start getting this hardscape in. Okay, so um, for the like kind of like base layer, I'm gonna be chucking down some gravel here as you guys can see this is what we use this here i had to go outside and wash it obviously i had a fair bit of like crud and stuff on there um so hopefully this will be fine i might end up using some of it as kind of like some detail stones with the top i think this is going to blend really well um with some coloring as you guys can see just here the coloring of it kind of like matches really well um i was gonna have to pick out some of the other stones because some of them are kind of like a pinky color where a lot of them are like the gray and white so um, we'll see how we go i'm not 100 sure on what we'll do just there but um let's get into pouring this anyway okay so we're simply just going to go ahead and chuck all this down the bottom just here don't mind my paper towel i had there um, I'm trying to be quieter too, if possible, just because there's lots of people sleeping at the moment. Um, let's go ahead and... I think we're going to just go ahead and chuck it all in there, really. turned out pretty good that was like a five kilo bag we're only going to be really planting heavily in this midsection um, kind of leaving these two sidebars open as you guys can see they have some inlets here um, and considering that's where like most of our suction is going to be coming from and kind of intaking all that water from that side we're going to be going to try and leave that open if possible so now um as sure like some of you have already been here and stuff um md who i watch a lot of he uses these like kind of mesh bags and stuff to put his aqua soil in um, because he plans to like reuse his scapes quite often and honestly that's kind of me as a person as well. I don't really like looking at the same thing forever so I'm going to go ahead and try and chuck them in these bags. Now I got these from Coles. Um, I'll leave a similar link to like Amazon or something on the description at all. So all I have to do is like go ahead and remove the actual zips themselves. The actual material itself is plastic so I'll be fine. So what I'm going to do is they're quite large so I'll just go ahead and fold them over so the aqua soil can't get out. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that in just out here because it's going to make a hell of a mess and this is carpet and I don't really want to be vacuuming right now. So.
Okay, so we'll see how this looks in here. Um, we'll probably go like this way, maybe. Yeah, so let's go ahead and flatten all of this out. And I actually go ahead and pick that up and flip it around this way. I'll go ahead and just tuck this up and under as well. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. That's mainly where we're going to be pulling in like bulk of our plants anyways in that central location. So any of the roots from the plants are going to come and find their way into it. Um, obviously we did spill a little bit just here, but no dramas at all. Now for our sand here, this is aquarium sand. Um, it's kind of like a neutral color, very like a of a sandy sand, I guess, as far as like the coloring goes for it. That's quite heavy, it's like a 10 kilo bag. So we're gonna go ahead and use that there. I'm gonna pretty much cover this whole area and cap that off as well. Hopefully we get like that nice graduated kind of slope feel out to the back as well. So I think I'm pretty happy with that. Um, it's got like a nice good slope on it. I'll see if I can, there we go. Yeah, that's kind of like a better angle there for you guys to be able to see that kind of big slope up to the side there. So probably a good like quarter way up the glass on that back level there. So it has a nice big incline there. I think we've got a plenty of sand there to plant um, all of our stuff into as well. I might just test a little bit. We might add a little bit more there. Um, if we don't have enough depth there to be able to plant our plants into, if not, then we can move on to our hardscape. Uh, now for hardscape, I can't actually remember the exact name of the wood just here, um, but these are our pieces here. They're really cool, super interesting. Obviously, this guy here is going to be our main focus as well with a Potentially some other little ones conjoining together. And then for our stone here as well, I also forgot the name of this one here. So um, I'm going to have to go back to the store and find the one that it is. But obviously you guys will be seeing this on the screen. So uh, yeah, I guess let's go into chucking those in. So for my idea for this one here, obviously to have this big guy up in the center here. It's going to be a bit of a challenge working in and up and around this one here. But I was thinking something around there. Now that is allows a like room at the back there for um, some stems and things to be planted into. And then I was kind of thinking of gluing this guy here onto that like that. But now seeing this in the skate, I'm kind of thinking maybe something like this could work as well, like being lent over this way. So we kind of have like the two pieces kind of working together. I might potentially bring this one forward a little bit if I can. Um, and then that way, like the two grooves work really well together kind of like giving these two kind of shapes here okay so i think i'm happy with that now i've just been playing around with it for quite a while i'm gonna put the stones in now we'll see how that changes if it changes my mind um, i did have an idea originally to kind of like wrap around them um, but now i'm not a hundred percent sure exactly what I want to do with these guys so So hopefully that is uh, good for you guys here. And uh, as you guys can see back over that way there, um, I've gone ahead and finished the stones. So I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out. Let's zoom in here. Uh, as you guys can see, um, I've gone ahead and added these like three little sections on either side. Um, this one here is actually being held up by the wood. I think it kind of adds another little bit of interest um, to that section there being like uh, fully like connected I guess your eyes in and through this kind of gap here as well so I think that works out really well and uh, now what I'm gonna do is, is go ahead and get some more sand I have a little bit left so hopefully we have enough just to kind of cover in these little gaps here fix up these sides um, and then I'm gonna go, have to go out and buy some detail stones because obviously I used all of them underneath under the gravel here because I had because I had all these stones just here um, but unfortunately I went ahead and used all of them but I think they're gonna work so really good so I'm gonna go ahead and take um, some of these to the shops when I go and 
and see if I can find something similar to these kind of colors and patterns and stuff. I'll show you guys quickly like what I was planning on doing. It's gonna be annoying to get out, but I'm gonna come something like that up against that rock there. I think it's gonna work really well. Um, obviously being thicker up against the stones and kind of coming down as it goes, but I think some of that may be a tad bit smaller, um, but now I'm gonna go ahead and fish out all those. So <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and chuck in the sand and uh, get on to going out to buy those detail stones. Alrighty, now one thing I did forget to do completely um, was glue down the wood. Uh, now this wood here has never been actually in any water at the moment either, so I'm going to go ahead and order in some Sienna Acrylate uh, super glue there as well. I'm pretty sure I said that right. I'm just going to get the gel form. I have the like liquid form at the moment. I just don't know how well it's going to sit um, like up in these kind of areas and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and get all that stuff in and I'll um, see you guys in a couple days when all that comes in. So I've gone out and these uh, root tabs have come in. So you get a fair bit in the pack. What's that? Uh, 10 in the pack. I think I'll probably use like six or so, maybe less than that. So I'm gonna go ahead and break these up and just kind of poke them all the way around the substrate there as well. So you can see there, it's got the root tabs, it's got them uh, snapped in half. So I'm gonna go ahead and do is just poke them all around the areas now. Yeah, sweet. So I ended up putting four bits here sprinkled all around the areas. I mainly did like the back section and a couple here in the foreground um, because most of our roots will be coming in through that back section just there as well. So we'll see how all of that goes. Um, but now we need to go ahead and glue on our uh you know wood here to the stones itself so i've got here um sienna acrylate super glue gel uh nothing too crazy at all so as you guys can see like just here um where the wood touches the rock so i'm going to try and get some glue up and under in that area let's go ahead and hold this down for a couple of seconds should be pretty good now this stuff here can take like up to 24 hours to properly harden which is perfectly fine for us because I'm actually not going to be putting the plants in anytime soon. It's still going to be like another week or so before I actually get to that stage. So that's going to be fine with me. So this should be plenty of time for it to all harden up. Now this idea might be a little bit more tricky because we do indeed have a lot of sand up and around here. And I don't think this bit here would even float as it is, but uh, and I did also go out and purchase this ice white gravel here, as you guys can see. Uh, now I think it's going to work really well with these, the color of the stone and stuff as well. Um, just the way the coloration goes, but this is the size difference. So this is the old stuff that I was going to try and aim for. And this here is the new size this year. It is a quite a lot smaller. So what I'm going to do is sprinkle a couple of these bits that I have laying around and then we'll go ahead and use the rest of this stuff. So. So for these, all you guys want to do is grab a handful at a time and just go ahead and just loosely place them closer to the old bigger rocks and just let them fall where they want to fall. Try not to be too particular with it, just let them go where they want to go. And also try and have your stones dry too, they just fall a lot nicer. And then obviously, you know, you can just go ahead and sprinkle a few down along the outside just to kind of make it look like a nice grading coming out. And then for mine, I just went ahead and sprinkled a few more up the back there as well just to help with planting once we get there. guys uh, the camera is kind of making the colors look a little bit funky um, it doesn't look so like I guess differentiative between the sand and the gravel in person kind of works a lot better I think this is kind of like my white balance and stuff on my camera so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fix that now or, or what but um, hopefully you guys yeah it kind of blends a lot more nicer when it's actually in in the tank itself. Um, now I've gone ahead and added a ton up the back there as well, just for an extra planting density and stuff as well. I might go around and just sprinkle a few more, just kind of in this little section here, just to block up all that little space there. But I think for now we're looking pretty good and uh, we can just wait, I guess, for our plants to come. Alrighty, yes. Uh, as you guys can see, we got our plants just here. Um, they've finally arrived. It's been about like two weeks, I think, since I recorded the other thing. So I'm super excited to get these guys planted. Um, hopefully it all goes well. And uh, I guess let's just jump straight into it. Okay, sweet. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and start 
uh, with these Java fern just here. Uh, just here, I'm gonna have to show you guys inside the uh, the actual tank itself just because where the lens is. Um, but these guys here are uh, like the small Java fern so they won't grow like super big or anything like that which is ideal for this tank because it's only a 70 litre, we don't want anything massive. But I am gonna go ahead and have to get rid of this like um, nutrient base that it has on there. So I'll show you guys real quick what you can do for that. So really all you guys have to do here is just pull it out of the pot that it comes with. I might just hang on to these in case I ever need them in the future. Um, but you'll see the two sides will just come apart just like that and you can just get rid of one part and then you can just try and peel off the second side. Now pretty much all of that just came off um, as it is but as you guys can see there's a little bit just on there. So what I'm going to go ahead and use but you can just simply just run your tweezers or a fork or something through there like that and just go ahead and take off the rest of that. Now what's super cool about these Java fern is they don't have to be stuck into the ground so they're the epiphyte kind of uh, plant. So I was thinking originally having one down here and one up here, but now just kind of looking at it, I think I might split them up. So I got two of these guys and that seems to snug into place just there quite nicely. I think that'll be fine as is. Yeah, that, that looks pretty cool I think. Okay, so next up we have our Anubius Nana Petite. Now these guys are very small. They should grow in a decent chunk for what they are. I think I'm definitely gonna have to glue those in. I'm gonna kind of like sprinkle them up and around. Maybe some on the rocks here at the front as well. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be using the the Cyanoraculate Super Glue Gel. Um, this is what I'm using here. It's a gel form. It should nice, really nicely sticking up against some of those rocks there as well. Now just remember, I'm gonna go ahead and start spraying down some of this as well because we don't really want it to dry out or anything. Uh, now for this stuff here, it kind of works a little bit better if it is wet as well when you're sticking the glue on. Little big one here, I'm gonna go ahead and chuck him up in here. I don't think I'm gonna have to glue that one in there just because of how it's, how it's wedged in. I think it should be pretty safe as is. Go ahead and chuck a, another one in and over here. I think I did also forget to mention that these here are also epiphytes, so we didn't actually have to plant those into the soil. I think that guy there looked pretty cool being glued on, so we might go, yeah, we'll just go ahead and press it in there. We'll just hold this for a couple minutes and it should be good. Next up we have our Busa philandra. Now there's only two of these and they're very, very small. Um, they should grow in quite nicely as well. So what I go ahead and do is glue another one of these guys on. Perfect. And we got one more. Go ahead and give it another misting of Okay, now next up, I think we're gonna go ahead and plant in our Liliopsis. Now this stuff here is gonna actually be planted into the substrate. It is in the foreground kind of areas, and uh, it's got the same similar uh, system as what we have to do there. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and get that all off and ready to go as well. So as you guys can see here, it comes as like it comes like all rolled up in like a little ball, and all you have to do is unroll it, and then you can just break off pieces that you want. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do with this stuff here is grab like a little pinch of it, and then just go ahead and just kind of push it into our substrate, uh, trying to get it nice and deep in there so it doesn't get uh, pulled out by any of the, uh, you know, <laughs> little fish that we chuck in there eventually. Alrighty, that was quite an effort to be honest with you. <laughs> um, yeah, that was super fun. Okay, so next up we have our Ricea, Rikea, I don't, I don't know how you pronounce it. It's our tissue culture, so this stuff here should grow and start carpeting the bottom of the tank eventually. Um, so all you really have to do to get this out is kind of peel it out of its jello. It's like this, yeah, pretty much jello in the bottom of this. And then just go ahead and try and get rid of all that that you can. So I'm gonna go quickly run over to the sink and uh, start cleaning that up on my end. Uh, as you guys can see just, just there, I've gone ahead and broken up into four little sections. I'm just gonna kind of plant it in and around the foreground just here. We're gonna go ahead and put on our Taiwan moss. Uh, now this here is mini Taiwan moss just here. I honestly thought I'd get a little bit more than that, but 
it is what it is. So we're gonna go ahead and use it. It, it should grow and it should be fine. Um, I'm not really too stressed about it. It's just up here. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it around. I'm thinking this middle one now, but what I was planning on doing is doing like both of these or even just like one of the bigger ones. So there we have it. We got it all off. It was kind of like a bit of an effort to actually get off and things. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of lean it up there. I'm gonna put, I'm thinking about maybe I will do I'll kind of halve it and I'll kind of put a couple of big chunks together and a couple other chunks together and I'll just kind of wrap it on and see how we go. Hopefully it grows well and the way it's meant to, so <laughs> we'll see how we go. Okay, so hopefully that all holds on there perfectly. Uh, and it should hopefully just, you know, come out and expand and grow. So let's have a quick look at what we got at the moment. So hopefully all these like liliopsis here will kind of rise up and stand. Uh, these Java ferns will kind of take over and explode out and things like that. I might go ahead and just shift a couple of the leaves, hoping to get some growth pushing forward as well in that kind of area, kind of filling up that kind of section as well as these guys down here. We do have this like hydrocotyl Japan kind of stuff. So this is gonna be a real pain to untangle and get in, but it's kind of like a viney thing. So I'm gonna put a few of them in and around. Uh, I'm just probably gonna put the rest of it in a bucket, to be honest. I don't know how much of it I'm gonna use. So I've yeah broken them up into like little kind of sections of like where I wanna plant them. Now these guys here will run and kind of like spread and go crazy all over the tank. So I'm not gonna be putting like in a mass amount, but I at least wanna get a, a decent amount in there at the start and kind of let it let it do its thing um, but next up uh, well first off I have to deal with all of this mess so alrighty so as far as our stems go what I can tell is these is Rotala or Rotundifolia narrow Ludwigia bunch I oh, know this this one this one here sorry this one here is the narrow Ludwigia bunch this one we have Rotala colorata and this one here the Embulia. We'll go with that. Yeah. <laughs> so what I'm thinking is I'm gonna go ahead and kind of, they already come in little sections. What I might go ahead and do is fill up the tank first and then we can kind of see where we want to put these guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get the hose in here, I guess. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting and uh, we'll get this thing filled up. So we've got our water filled up, obviously, as you guys can see there. Um, it looks so cool. I have been waiting for this thing to be filled up for so long and now it's finally here. It looks really sick. So I can't wait to go ahead and get these stems in and get this thing looking even better. So as you guys can kind of see here, I've kind of mixed up some of the bunches uh, with the narrow Ludwigia and the Rotala Rotundifolia. Um, I think it's just gonna look a little bit better. I don't know if it's gonna grow exactly. So I'm gonna do like one mixed bunch and one kind of together. Um, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and start with this big massive Embulia or whatever it's called. Uh, just because it's so long and I think I know where I'm gonna put it. So let's go ahead and chuck it in. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and chuck it in this side just here because that's where our flow is. So I'm thinking because it's tall, it's gonna go out and grow over top that way. So go ahead and grab all that we need here. So let's go ahead and chuck this guy right down the back. Okay, so those guys are in. I'm thinking that we might need to trim them already. <laughs> um, they are kind of crazy, so it's not really gonna be an issue. Uh, I might go ahead and just do that now. Um, I do have some scissors for this. Okay, sweet. So that there is a much more uh, workable height. Uh, next up, we're gonna go ahead and go with that mixture that I was talking about before. Alrighty, so I'm gonna lie, I had a lot of trouble actually getting these plants in. <laughs> The tank just here guys so what I have to do is go ahead and I don't know if you can see that uh, just there so I'm going ahead and kind of wrap them up with some twine um, it's kind of making things a lot easier so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and chuck the rest of these in now For you guys there, it's looking a little bit uh, not 
crack. Like it's very dull and kind of, I might bring some of those actually. There's a big clump in this corner here and I might bring them into that kind of middle area there just to kind of help fill out that a little bit more. Um, but I think other than that, it's looking pretty good and I think I'm pretty happy with it. All right, it's been about two weeks since I uh, last left you guys here at the end of the build and I have some cool things to show you guys. So since last time you guys might have noticed that I've gotten a new light, um, I went and bought this one here secondhand. The one that was kind of built in didn't really do a very good job at lighting this whole thing. Um, so I thought I should go ahead and just go ahead and get a new one. So I bought that secondhand, I think it was like 50 bucks, so it was a pretty good deal. Um, I think I ended up changing like this kind of area as well, um, replanting some of the plants in there as well. And I've gone ahead and trimmed a bunch of those since last time as well so all up in here i've trimmed some of those up there have already like grown back and touched the surface as well which is cool these guys down here are doing really nicely and slowly starting to come up we have some new uh shoots coming off just there that you guys can see that i don't really know too well but yeah there's some new shoots coming up there as well which is awesome all of this green down here is all kind of new sprouts shoots and stuff coming through our uh, anubias at the top just here isn't really doing that well i don't know if it's because it's too close to light because this one down here is doing like extremely well the growth on that looks really well um it's nice and still green and no like dead leaves with this and then this one up the top here looks a bit dull i suppose too we've got a little bit of algae coming on the wood just kind of on these lower sections but nothing too crazy at all i have not done any water changes since um filling it up two weeks ago and all like the balances and everything like that is still all good so i'll probably leave it for a little bit longer and um let me know down in the comments what you guys kind of think what fish i actually put in here i have a bristle nose pleco in this other tank just over here that i'm planning on shifting him over because he's gonna get too big for this one plus the beta does not really like him which i also got a new beta i don't know if i showed you guys that you guys might have seen him swimming around in earlier of the video this has been about a month since i've had him now and he's doing super well which is awesome um and i also got these couple of these like floating plants um they are frog bit um and i've put some in this plant tank as well as you guys can see like this tank here is absolutely booming with it um it was like half full like a week ago and it's already like grown and stuff so that's that's really cool and i did also forget to mention that i have these uh two ferns in the top there i believe they're palm tree ferns um they're probably like kind of getting a not enough light in this kind of room that they're in and some of these leaves are starting to die so I'm gonna have to trim those off but they're just their roots are in the water. I've had them for about I don't know probably two months or so if you guys can see this in here. So they've been uh, grown in water for probably two months now I'd say um, and they're doing really well no problems at all with them. Um, so yeah that's really nice I get to have those in uh, coming out the top there and I think they're going to grow in quite nicely as well so I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video just there guys so yeah let me know in the comments what kind of fish you guys think in there um, I kind of got a little bit distracted I was thinking a couple of rummy nose tetras um, hopefully a German blue ram if I can get one of those in there as well um, I think maybe just the one maybe two if I'm lucky just with the sizing and stuff I think probably only just the one but um, yeah as I said I'm not gonna be adding those guys for a little while and then even then I'm gonna add them slowly and stuff as well so yeah let me know in the comments what you guys think that is a good idea or not or any other recommendations so um, yeah I guess I'm I'm gonna go ahead and leave you this one here and uh, if you have enjoyed this one don't forget that like button and subscribe and uh, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one later